Hey YouTube and how's it going? It is Stealth and we are back with another Minecraft video and today guys I'm going to be discussing dual wielding which will be coming to the next big update 253 for all of the console editions. Specifically I want to focus on the changes that have been made because dual wielding as we know it is going to be a lot different for the console editions. So I want to focus on what this could mean for console players, what the future for dual wielding will be like as well. So first and foremost if you are a subscriber make sure you hashtag a ninja sub right now down below in in the comment section and I will be replying to as many comments as possible. It's gonna be a lot of fun today so with that said let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. So dual wielding is definitely a complicated feature to address because as of right now it seems like it's sort of a divided feature between the people that do like it and the people that don't like it and it feels like 4J Studios is trying to sort of please everybody at the moment with this approach to dual wielding because as of right now for dual wielding on the console edition, there are two items that we can dual wield. And essentially they have nothing to do with the actual combat system besides the arrows. Arrows is one of the features that you can dual wield, you can hold in your hand, as well as the map. The map is another item that you can hold in your hand while holding another item. So this is definitely a lot different than what we are used to, being able to dual wield swords and other items, uh, hold a torch, uh, even hold like newer items like the Totem of Undying and shields. Uh, it definitely is questionable what 4J Studios is trying to do. Obviously, they're trying to please both sides where they're trying to make it where the community isn't really divided because dual wielding has always been more of a controversial feature uh, for Minecraft. The combat update definitely divided the PvP uh, community in half because a lot of people like dual wielding and a lot of people don't like dual wielding. So I feel like 4J Studios is trying to approach this a little bit more cautiously. I'm sort of the type of person that feels like they either add it or they don't add it because as of right now, there are some pretty cool features that we won't really be able to use as a result of this new dual wielding system. Like I said earlier, the Totem of Undying, you have to hold it uh, as well as shields. You have to hold that as well and those are both items that you cannot use right now. Uh, so I'm not really sure what 4J Studios is going to do in the future. I feel like right now this is sort of uh, a alternative or a solution, just a momentary solution because I feel like this is almost like a beta for dual wielding. Maybe they're just trying to test it and eventually they're going to add more features and more items that we can dual wield. So I almost feel like this is like the beginning of adding dual wielding because I don't think they would just start, I don't think they would just end with two items like a map and arrows that just doesn't seem like that would be the only two items. Maybe they'll add more items in the future. But let me know down below how you feel about dual wielding. Are you the type of person that always enjoyed dual wielding? Do you absolutely hate it? Do you like what 4J Studios is doing with dual wielding? Let me know how you feel down below in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe, guys. I'm going to have a ton of videos once Title Update 53 drops. There's going to be so much content on my channel. I seriously can't wait. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.